Welcome to the Resilient Entrepreneur, planning, adapting, and persevering. Being resilient is the ability of you, the entrepreneur, to deal with difficult situations in the operation of your business. In this course, we are going to discuss what it means to be a resilient entrepreneur and how you can initiate processes to identify potential hazards and threats and then plan, adapt, and persevere. We will look at ways that entrepreneurs can plan for and manage their businesses through crises and downturns. We'll also look at strategies and best practices for business survival during times of personal, economic, political, and environmental adversity. This lesson is planning for resilience. This lesson was written by Dina Neely, a nationally recognized award-winning entrepreneur, author, public speaker, and industry trailblazer. She is the founder and chief executive officer of Detroit Voltage, Detroit's fastest growing black woman owned electrical contracting firm. Dina is passionate about serving the underserved city of Detroit, as well as creating opportunities for training and employment for her community. Dina has been recognized by companies such as the Michigan Minority Supplier Development Council, the Great Lakes Women's Business Council, Google, and Essence. She is a Forbes Next 1000 awardee for entrepreneurship. In this lesson, we are going to discuss what Dina calls two of her favorite topics, planning for crises and downturns, and future-proofing your business. According to Dina, the bridge between both of these topics is about relationships and building your network while adhering to a code of ethics. Your network equals your net worth. Why is that important? Because the community that you build around you is going to be the key to referrals and word of mouth business through crises and unexpected downturns and is, in her opinion, the best way to future proof your business. You also have to be respectful of laws and regulations. Do not act unethically or dishonorably. That won't save your business when things are going badly and could result in far worse consequences to your reputation and relationship with your customers. You will need your network and customers once your business recovers from any adversity. What does Dina mean when she says to future-proof your business? It means anticipating the future and developing methods of minimizing the effects of potential crises on your business. Dina built her company, as she says, with eyes wide open. There were no delusions about her entering a male-dominated industry. From the outset, she knew that she had to build a solid support system, a network of people who would encourage her, build her up, and take the journey with her. She was very strategic about finding people with a like-minded outlook on starting and growing her business. As you grow as an entrepreneur, you may find yourself interacting with people who may not understand your journey. Find and seek a circle of people on the same journey, those who have either surpassed you and are where you want to go, or those who will undergird you. Seek out those who can relate to your entrepreneurial path. Dina added people to her circle who are in the same industry and striving to build successful companies. These were also people with whom she was able to share information who would have an understanding of where she was in her entrepreneurial journey. Dina also recommends looking at trade associations that are specific to your line of business. The people you want in your circle are those who may be further ahead of where you are and aware of emerging industries and trends. In her circle, she notes that one of her mentors is an experienced and serial entrepreneur with a wealth of knowledge who helps her through the nuances of running a business. For example, providing advice when payroll is due and she is unsure how she is going to cover it. With this solid support system and network in place, you can increase your chances of surviving difficult times. For example, when an electrical contract comes up for bid, members of Dina's network of contacts reach out to inform her of available opportunities. These are not procurement offers or contracting email announcements she receives. These are communications that come from people within her network who keep her top of mind when opportunities arise that they think she can benefit from to build her company. 
That is the power of building and maintaining relationships as you are building a business. Focus on problem solving. Placing a premium on building relationships also benefits your approach to partnering with private companies and local and regional government agencies. If you look at your business and services as providing solutions, then you enter conversations looking for ways you and your company can help these entities reach their goals and objectives. You will also have opportunities to learn from your clients and partners and gain access to their knowledge and expertise, which can help inform your business decisions. When you look at things from the perspective of a problem solver, the relationship between procurement officers and your company becomes a fluid exchange of winning for both you and the sector they represent. The other benefit in these relationships is that when there are legislative or regulatory changes that could affect your industry, you have a pipeline of experts on the ground who can notify you of upcoming changes and help you better understand the details. Many times, they also become advocates and teach you how to adapt your business to the changes before they become a disruption for you. Because you are in these conversations, you will be better positioned to learn about and adapt to changes in regulations and procedures. You may also have the opportunity to inform these changes as these contacts will have a better understanding of you and your business needs. Be your own resource center. Another way to plan for a crisis and future-proof your business by utilizing your network is to be aware of and take advantage of as many financial resource opportunities that are available to you as you can before you need them. Find those who offer financial relief or emergency funding and ask how you can access it, particularly in the event of a looming crisis or natural disaster. Know what you will need to keep your business operating. Don't be shy about asking for help or about researching financial resources for your business. When you have the right community of people in your network, they will be on the lookout for resources that fit your business objectives. But never stop seeking opportunities to add finances to your business through grants, pitch competitions, partnerships, and the like. Build your own extensive list of resources from financial to educational that will keep your pipeline full of opportunities to pursue. For more on this course and to access related resources, visit our website.